All right, I've got something pretty exciting to show you, maybe. I don't even know if you'll be allowed to see this, but I'm gonna record it anyway, just in case. So what I have in this box is going to be an absolute game changer in the bamboo world of 3D printing. What I have here in front of me is something that Ibos reached out and asked if I would like to be an early tester. It's a first for my channel. I've never had a company uh, directly reach out specifically to me about being involved in one of their new products, but they saw the review that I did on the Polyphemus and uh, the CEO of iBoss reached out and said, hey, we're developing this new device. Would you like to check it out? So you are seeing what I'm seeing for the very first time. And we have all sorts of goodness in here. So what is this? Well, let me take a step back. This is the Series X Tetris, and, or Tetris. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. What this is, is a modification for the original AMS unit. And this will add four heated chambers to that unit. So very similar to the AMS2 Pro, if you have an original AMS2 unit, you will be able to modify it and put individual heated chambers on to your AMS. So we're gonna take a look at this and this is just a, a quick unboxing video. So you can see what I'm seeing for the very first time. Uh, later on, I hopefully will be able to do a uh, installation video and We'll, uh, we'll go from there. So we've got a bunch of uh, mounting brackets here, it looks like. Yep, I think we've got some mounting brackets. We've got some, uh, looks like the rubber feet, bunch of hardware. We've got all the screws that we're going to need. Uh, maybe some kind of filament guides. Again, I haven't even looked at this. This is literally the first time I'm seeing this. Some acrylic front baffles. So there's four of those, I think one for each chamber. I have, they did provide me with an early look at the installation guide. Um, we've got some more, I think some acrylic uh, cutout pieces here. And then, oh, this is, it feels nice and I don't even have it out of the bag yet. But this is gonna be pretty impressive. I'm excited for you all to get to take a look at it. This is the main display. So there you go. You have four individually controlled, or four individual control panels, one for each of the chambers. So you can, you can actually have different types of filament in your AMS. Now, if you know about the AMS2 Pro, that it doesn't let you do that. Um, I haven't fully investigated it, but it knows because you set the types of filament in there. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, for safety reasons, um, you know, if you've got PLA on one side and PETG or something, ASA that requires an even higher, uh, obviously, I guess you wouldn't be drying ASA in an AMS2 Pro, but it's probably not gonna let you change the temperature. With this, you could actually do that. Now they do uh, tell you that, you know, that if you have adjacent uh, bays here, if you've got this one heating up higher than this one, you are gonna have a little bit of temperature bleed over, so you do wanna be a little bit careful about that. But uh, yeah, this is just gonna, this is gonna be something else. So let's keep on digging through the box here. We've got uh, the back panel, kind of the brains of the operation uh, here. We've got uh, individual power cables that are gonna go to the, uh, to the heating elements there and then we've got a bunch of USB-C ports there. We've got our power cord. Looks like a, this looks like a big piece of rubber. We'll figure out what that's for. Oh, look at this. I love stuff like this. We've got a two millimeter uh, Allen wrench or driver and nice, uh, looks like machined aluminum. It's got the iBoss logo on there. That is pretty cool. That's really fun to see. And then 
we have kind of the, looks like the main body here. Get this out of the box. I'm really excited to put this all together. Heck, I may do it tonight, who knows? We'll see. Okay, we got a little bit more stuff back there. So, here we have the four chambers, or the four heaters, so that each one has a power cord uh, that's going to it, or a, not necessarily a power cord, but as you can see, they're essentially AC power cords, but these are gonna, you're gonna have one for each four, and then there's the control cable, so there's a USB uh, C type control cable that's gonna attach here, and then this is actually going to replace the lid on your AMS, your original AMS. And if you can see on the inside here, we have these chambers. So again, it's gonna separate your AMS unit into uh, specific chambers. So we're gonna set that down right here. And the last thing we have down here at the bottom of the box is some dividers. So these are going to be placed inside your AMS unit and provide those divided chambers for you. So there you have it. That is the Tetris from IBOS. So can't wait to get this thing hooked up. I don't, again, I don't know if you'll ever be able to see this video. I'm sure at some point um, we'll be able to, to get it out there, but uh, I'm gonna get this thing assembled. I'm gonna get this attached to my uh, P1S. So a little teardown of the original AMS unit and this will be in operation and I will be able to actively dry my filament. So come back soon.